Welcome everyone. I'm here to talk to you today about our AI agent base layer. I'm Ron Botgen, co-founder and CEO of Theoric. We have been building in the Web3 and AI space for a couple years. My background, I've been working in AI for 15 years, whether it was at Google or startups like uh, Quantcast, started a previous company that was acquired by Teradata. And I'm super excited about the opportunity. Ah, you have to put on, to put on headphones to hear me. It's like a silent disco. So you'll hear me better with the headphones uh, over the panel there. But yeah, so super excited to share with you our vision for how AI is going to uh, be democratized for Web3, how it's going to really empower people to build agents that collaborate and create a ton of value. So I'll share a little bit about Theoric today, a little bit about what we're building, a little bit about how you can get engaged. So, as backdrop, you probably know AI is going to have a big impact on society. Um, in fact, with the promise of having models that are a million times more powerful than GPT-4 by the end of the decade, we believe with ARK Invest that the economy will more than double thanks to AI alone. And that what that's going to unleash is an era of AI agents that really a majority of knowledge work by the end of the decade will be done by AI through agents that can do specialized tasks really well. But to make that work, it's incredibly important that we have blockchain rails so that they can coordinate, they can do payment, they can have identity, they can have assets, that they can be traded, that they can be used to interoperate and have a permissionless ecosystem where anyone can build and we don't have a monopolist create a walled garden where they control the economy. We also think it's important to have token incentives so people can be compensated for participating and the builders have incentives and experts have incentives to create great agents that can really add value in this ecosystem. With that in mind, maybe it's worth saying, well, what is an AI agent? Basically, an AI agent is autonomous software that can plan, that can use data at runtime, that can use tools to accomplish goals. A couple of examples that we'll give here. One is a meme coin genius. So people who are interested in trading in meme coins can get the meta, can see what's going on with the coins, can see what are the latest trends, what's going on with trading and so on, and make good investment strategy decisions. And the other side is more around DAO governance, a DAO diplomat to make it easy to understand what are the issues and how can you participate and lower the bar so you get real community participation in DAOs. Let's take a look. Here's an example of uh, Theoric, our agent protocol, an early look. Here's our Infinity Studio, a rich UI for interacting with a range of agents. We have a series of collectives we've highlighted for this demo. One is a meme coin agent that can look at trends, can look at Twitter, can look at an investment planner. We also will see later an eigenlayer agent to help people with restaking and a Filecoin agent, which we'll talk about here how it can be powerful. But for the meme coin agent, we'll start off, we'll go into the studio and interact with it and say, hey, let's, let's have an interaction, let's see what we can do. And we'll start off by saying, hey, what's trending? Meme coins are all about the latest memes and what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and say like, hey, what meme coins have the most volume in the last 24 hours? So we can get a sense of which ones might be interesting to look more into. So we'll go ahead and type that in. And then because there's a collective of agents, there is a router, a smart agent that says, what agent should I use? And in this case, it says, oh, that's a question for a trends agent. It gives us back information like Timeless Davidow and Huge, Cat, Frog, Dog, Shark, et cetera, some different coins that are trending. Gives us useful information, not just in text, but graphics, and in fact, it can also put data on the side so we can see some of the different meme coins. And that can let us say, hey, maybe I'm interested in learning more. So not only do I see information on the side of statistics about these coins, but I can say, hey, maybe I want to follow up and I want to learn more about some of the specific meme coins. So I'm going to take David out and say, well, what's going on with that? What is the community talking about with this? And so I can ask, you know, what is the Twitter uh, feedback on David out? And I'll ask that, and that's again going to get routed to a specialized agent. So in this case, it's going into um, a Twitter agent that um, that went quickly, so we'll skip to the uh, screenshot of it in the next slide. Um, there's a series of tweets that it's able to highlight. It's summarizing across the Twitter conversation, you know, what kind of sentiment is there on this token? You can dig in and see who's saying it. Like somebody 
is not a fan of celebrities and tokens. Others are excited and saying it's going to the moon. You might want to check that out. People making jokes about it and talking about uh, other aspects. So you can see that agents can combine a variety of skills in order to really have a rich experience that users can take advantage of. The important thing is we're seeing this as collectives of agents are more powerful than any one individual. You may have heard last week some of the big monopolists in Web2 talking about their vision for an agent that does everything. We don't think that's the future. We think the future is Web3 communities coming together and building specialized collectives that outcompete any one agent, right? But teams work better for agents just like for people. Builders will have the opportunity to make specialized agents that do one job really well, and coming together they can create magic. And we think there's going to be incentive for the community to participate, to identify what's high quality, and to build great agents. I won't drain the slide and give you all the details, but the basic idea is when you interact with a meme coin agent, it's got a planner that decides among all these different agents which ones are the most relevant to the question and how to use them dynamically to answer questions and add value to users. But what, what makes this hard, there's like three basic problems to make this vision come alive. One is, how do the agents work together, right? How do they talk? How do they identify themselves? How do they settle payments? How do they um, work as a group, right? The second is cr assigning credit and blame. When I have a series of agents that come together and something works well, which agent did a good job and, and should be boosted? If it's something breaks and works badly, which agent is to, to be blamed for that, right? And then the last thing is how do I even pick among a burgeoning marketplace of great agents, which ones should be used to answer a question to, to serve a user? We've come up with innovations for all of these in Theoric. We have an agent base layer, a standard, a protocol, a specialized application chain that makes it easy for agents to compose, to pay one another, to communicate in a standard way, even having standardized user interface to simplify interaction and building agents if you're not a developer. Then we have proof of contribution, which is a having a separate evaluator component that signs and puts a profile entry anchored on chain to say, what did this agent do? So you can go back and assess the agent quality and keep selecting with a proof of collaboration. An, a Bayesian optimizer that comes up with a near optimal selection of agents to work together to serve a user's needs. So these innovations together solve the three basic problems in allowing dynamic agent collectives to work. This is an illustration of how Theoric works. There's a user interface, both for agent interactions as well as an API, and a builder so that you don't have to be a developer to put together cool agents that solve a problem. Then there's a base layer, a specialized blockchain built for agents with proof of collaboration and contribution, but including NFT registrations and payments and security and staking and all of those capabilities. And then a marketplace, our Infinity Hub, where builders can build a whole range of agents and we're partnering with companies that provide you know, compute, whether it be like an io.net or a, a hyperbolic um, or lily pad. Models and model inference, whether it be open source models like Llama 3 and model inference providers like Allura Network. And data like Filecoin and Space and Time and MASA and Grass Network, right? So agent builders can integrate the right capabilities to build high quality agents. And all of this together, we think, is the most comprehensive and valuable agent ecosystem available in Web3. So our roadmap is we just launched at, a, at this conference telling people about our vision. We're going into testnet next month, uh, or not quite next month, but early July with the second test net soon to follow, and our goal is to do mainnet and token launch in September with uh, continuing evolution and progress. So we've launched our proof of engagement program. It's a great chance to get involved and to participate and to track the evolution. And if you're a builder, we'd love you to come in and, and develop great agents and collaborate with us. As an example, you know, we have space and time where our agents are powering their Houston chatbot that help developers integrate with their product, do analytic queries. 
You know, we'll show you in a second how we're working with Filecoin to power documentation agents and allow people to answer all kinds of interesting questions, whether it's around scientific data that's stored in Filecoin, or whether it be data that's stored you know, for public good, you know, public documents to be able to make agents that can make it really easy to interact and dynamically get value out of data that's in Filecoin. So we'll give you an example here of, with Filecoin, how uh, an agent can help you interact with data that's in that environment. So we'll go back to the Infinity Studio, and now we'll take a look at how a Filecoin agent can be useful. In this case, it's one that helps you, a developer who's building on Filecoin, learn about Filecoin and how to work productively in that environment. So we'll start a session to start interacting with that collective, and then we'll go ahead and we'll ask some basic questions about Filecoin, right? So our first question is going to be around, um, how can I, uh, you know, why should I develop on Filecoin? That's right, so the first thing is just the basics, like what, give me some information and then out of the documentation it summarizes like some of the benefits, decentralizing storage, it's programmable, IPFS interoperability, a large ecosystem, right, some of the benefits. Now we'll dive into a more technical topic and links as well, right? So you can find the relevant information. Great way of accessing documentation. Any project would benefit from um, having agents to do that and of course, putting your data in Filecoin. Now let's talk about a more technical question. As a developer, supposing I want to know how to do an upgrade, um, you know, or in this case I want to package a file um, using the Lotus command line interface for Filecoin, right? So, how do I make my file so I can easily put it into Filecoin storage? And here's a very nice summary from the documentation of how I do that task with links to help me. So if I'm just trying to use Filecoin, it makes it easier. This is how I would do it from the command line. And then one more is like, well, what if I want to try to upgrade uh, my Filecoin um, Lotus client? Like, how do I do the upgrade? And so I'll ask that and um, it will help me give steps for how to do these upgrades to the next release. And also, you know, how do I make sure that that upgrade worked correctly, right? So these are kind of things that we can really dial in with agents that are specialized for a task, and this is great for builders who want to make sure that they're uh, using the right versions of software, right? So it's pulled out of the documentation all the right information and links. So we'll, that gives you an idea of how uh, you can have a narrow but specialized agent for developers. And then one more example of a great agent that's uh, available in Theoric for the Eigenlayer community and the restaking community, we'll take a look at a, a, an Eigenlayer collective. In this case, we'll have in the Infinity Studio, we'll start up a new session with a set of agents that work together to help you navigate the exciting world of restaking. Right, so there is information from Discord, um, there's information from Twitter, there's information from the Eigenlayer documentation, and then there's Council Analytics, which is um, using index blockchain data stored in space and time to give you insight into things like points and wallet ownership and token ownership. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started by asking some basic questions about Eigenlayer, like, you know, what is the purpose of an intersubjective work token? I read something about that, I don't really understand it. Maybe I can ask that question. So we'll click on that, or we'll type it in, and you know, we'll use that to get information from the agent. So um, the collective is gonna say, let's go ahead and find what's the right agent that can help me answer this question. So we type in the question, and then the router says, Okay, that's a good question for the documentation. And then it provides a nice summary of the token's purpose is to handle what's called intersubjective faults, things that can't be identified on chain but everyone could agree on. And it describes how it works, how it complements ETH restaking and expands the range of possibilities for the Eigenlayer protocol. Right, so this had me some useful information about what is Eigenlayer. And now I might ask, how does the community feel? about what's going on, what's the sentiment. As you may know, uh, there was recently um, the token launch for Eigenlayer, and you know, the first uh, season of airdrops converted. And as you can see, there's been 
some positive sentiments about p potential and more people getting involved building operators. There's still some frustration about the way the uh, bonus tokens the airdrop was laid out and some people felt not supported. So you can see that it's doing a nice job of both summarizing the conversation on Discord, but also giving links to who are the different commenters that are making specific points. So a nice way of letting you understand more of what's going on. And then we can say, well, what if we want to know more about what are whales doing? What are people talking about in terms of whales in this community? So what are, what are folks saying about that? So what are they saying? And maybe what are some specific uh, wallet addresses or tweets relating to those, uh, those whales? And that is now going to go to a Twitter agent that will tell us, you know, people are complaining about how Justin Sun got a lot of Eigen tokens because of the linear nature that points converted linearly to tokens. And people even shared a purported wallet address for him. So we could even ask and say, OK, let's go do our own research. Let's take a look at that wallet address and ask, you know, well, what about that? How many Eigen tokens do, are being held by Justin's at wallet? Um, and so we'll type that in, and let's see, that's now going to get routed to the council analytics agent that is going to be able to use index blockchain data to generate queries, pull data from the chain, and you can see that it very quickly comes back with a balance of over two million tokens summarized in tabular data here in the workspace. So you can see um, that it was, uh, that indeed, um, Justin got a very large distribution from the airdrop. So you can see how this collective of agents can handle a wide range of topics of interest around this, for this community and greatly facilitate ability for people to understand and participate and make decisions about what they want to do for investment or otherwise in building. And you can see, um, that concludes our demo, so we'd love you to stay engaged, excited uh, for the upcoming testnet of Theoric. You can follow us on Twitter and Farcaster at, at Theoric with a Q, AI, or check out our website at theoric.ai, and definitely make sure to get involved in our proof of engagement program where you can um, be the first to learn and earn uh, points for contributing to the community. And we're excited to be partnering with Filecoin and stay tuned for more exciting announcements of our partnership.